What up, what up? Welcome back to Cloudy TV. It's your boy, Cloudy. And uh, today, man, we got a good video from Mad Lab. It's called Incredible Recent Discoveries in Antarctica. Bro, I'm gonna be honest, man. Me and my dad just had to talk about some stuff in Antarctica, bro. We was just talking about how there was a pyramid in Antarctica, man. If y'all if y'all been here long enough or y'all know my other channel that I, that I used to post on a lot, I'm into stuff like this, like conspiracy theories, stuff that can connect to aliens and all that stuff. I, I love it. You know what I'm saying? I love it. And I can't react to the History Channel's YouTube videos because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get copywritten because it's a TV channel, you know what I'm saying? So, Mad Lab got something for us. So, uh, we just gonna hop straight into this one right here. And uh, yeah, man, I'm gonna give y'all my thoughts, you know what I'm saying? I hope y'all like the video. The moon rotates around the Earth at about the same speed as it does around its axis. That's why we can only see one side of it. That means that 41% of its surface hasn't been explored yet. This fact surprises yeah. many people as we're used to thinking that we know everything all about eyes, all bro. things Nobody in the stay world, out there. while even our own planet remains a mystery to us. Oh, snap. For let example, me, let me Antarctica, me. which is no <laughs> less mysterious to us than the lunar no, the surface. Got me or how about it? Cloud, inexplicable no, ice yeah. domes, or a giant face right in the midst of snow valleys, or a crater the size of the state of Colorado. The land of eternal frost keeps its secrets carefully. But we're gonna raise the secret curtain right now and tell you all about the recent discoveries in Antarctica which will make blood run cold in your veins. What if we tell you that underneath the thick layer of ice and permafrost, mysterious creatures live? Sound improbable? See, bro, I wouldn't doubt none like this. Something interesting, now, I know right? this is the beginning of the video, but the reason why I wouldn't doubt none like this, bro, is because you gotta think about it. nobody lives in Antarctica. Which means it's gonna be a lot easier to keep secrets from everybody. You know what I'm saying? This is a perfect spot to keep secrets away from the whole world. I even heard Antarctica was probably one of the first like places on this planet, like the first established area in the planet. You know what I'm saying? On the planet. My bad. I don't know how true that is, but I feel like everything is hidden in Antarctica. I feel like Area 51, yeah, some stuff over there, but I feel like that's just the cover up. I feel like Antarctica is the real Area 51. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's where they got everything out. That's where they do a lot of their, uh, they do everything out there. You know what I'm saying? They probably even got aliens out there walking around freely because there ain't nobody out there. The only people that's over there is probably like people who got a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? And like scientists and stuff like that, which are people who got a lot of money. But Antarctica, bro, I think they hold most of the Here beneath world this dome. Like, yes, Antarctica is almost entirely covered man. with glaciers, but underneath them, there is conventional terrain and even some active volcanoes. Recently, the scientists discovered that the heat from one of the volcanoes has melted the glacier, but it wasn't due to a one-time eruption, rather a continuous heat radiation that has been occurring for so long that it led to formation of warm caves <coughs> under the ice. These caves under the ice dome are located on the Erebus Mountain on the island of Rosa. And it's not just a single big cave, we're talking about a whole labyrinth of corridors and rooms inside the cave. They were created by the stream that rises up from the volcano. Scientists believe that there could be some form of life deep down in these caves. It can get heat from the volcano, water from the ice, and sunlight coming down through the glacier. After all, oh, Antarctica hell. is exposed to an intense solar radiation. Researchers have found these perfectly round areas just recently, so they haven't had a chance to study them just yet. But they assume that there might as well exist an ecosystem, a closed but a diverse one. Do you remember those sci-fi movies about dinosaurs that survived hidden in ice? There could be something similar in this case. Yep. Experts That's have exactly already discovered DNA traces which they are not able to identify. This means that creatures unknown to biologists live under the Antarctica ice caps. What kind of organisms do you think can look, develop? bro? That's that's a sign right there that Antarctica got stuff there that they're trying to keep from the rest of the world, bro. Because look, Antarctica is full of ice, right? Can't forget the sun hits Antarctica whenever it hits Antarctica, but the sun hits Antarctica, right? But the ice there never really melts. You know what I'm saying? When we when we put heat on water. It melts. I mean, well, not on water, but if you put heat on ice or something like that, something that's a solid, it'll melt. How come Antarctica got solids and they don't melt? Some of them don't melt at all. And that lets you know right there, like, bro, it's 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 different out there, bro. Like, it's chemicals in the water, animals out there. Like, 
I feel like it might be the first place on the planet, bro. Like, this it's just something However, very unique about it. But people can go the out there and breathe the out there and everything like the that is, and touch the water and everything. Because of its remoteness but, and cold, seems not just frozen in ice, but in time it's as well. Can anything interesting happen in a place with almost no life in it? As it turns out, it can. Moreover, sometimes Antarctica shows us something not only new and unexplainable, but frighteningly large as well. For example, the giant face which was spotted on Google Earth on the satellite images of Antarctica. It's a mountain-sized silhouette of either a human or an alien, and it resembles a fragment of a statue that appeared from under I'm the snow. I'm telling y'all, bro. Um, nope. That's an alien, bro. Oh, dang, bro. That's an alien, bro. Bro, that's an alien. Bro, there's no explanations for stuff like this. They, they don't want us to put the satellites up there, so we get to see images like this, bro. You know what I'm saying? Y'all trying to hide a lot of stuff, but at the same time, y'all not really hiding it. You feel me? Like, what are y'all doing? Like, bro, just tell us what we need to know about these creatures so we can protect ourselves. So when they do get here, or if they are, if or if they are already here, we know how to protect ourselves, bro. But at the same time, man, you know they don't give a fuck about us, bro. Mouth, nose, and a pair of eyes are clearly <clears throat> visible on this scary find. Perhaps those are ruins of a civilization that once existed and that had contact with aliens. Or maybe it's just a just break of nature and what we see is just a play of snow, wind, and frost. Man, Actually, look beautiful, the experts though. suppose you know, that the gigantic face is really just a massive snow crust, which happens to look so bizarre. But Could what be you can argue is but... the appearance of huge holes in the ice the size of South Carolina or Colorado states. The mysterious hole was first discovered in 2016. It was discovered again in 2017. Initially, it's it had an area hole. of 3,700 square miles, or 9,600 square kilometers. That probably goes but into the, Did you know that if the, you live in one of these 10 states in America, bro. you can get solar panels at absolutely or no cost whatsoever? Or aliens could live inside you that see, hole, a few and, days they, and it's like that so they spaceships could go throughout it, uh, square go miles, it or something. Or 78,000 square kilometers. The mysterious That's spot creepy, appeared bro. in the ice-free part of the ocean right in the middle of bro, the Bro, just think desert. about it, bro. I'm not trying to pause that much, but just think about it. Imagine you walking home from school or you walking home from work or you driving home from work. Whatever the hell you do to get home from wherever you at. Imagine you just see a big-ass hole the size of California. In California, ain't that some shit? Just imagine you've seen that. And when you look down, you don't see nothing. It's just... This is pure darkness, you know what I'm saying? And, and say somebody like, like a scientist or something like that, decides to drop like a, like one of them gel sticks so we can see how far it go down. And we don't see it, it just keep going. You know what I'm saying? It just keeps going. It don't even stop falling. It goes so deep to the point that we don't even see the light. Imagine seeing something like that while you walking home, bro. What, what's the first thing that's gonna come in your head? Put, down, put it down in the comments below. What's the first thing y'all gonna think? So I know what the hell this happen. For almost half a century, scientists could not explain the nature this point, bro, of these giant just... holes called alinias mm, from know. a Russian word that means I don't know what's going to come out of that, bro. So I'm going to be too scared of you go outside from the University of Washington I'm already scared of you go outside. I'm already scared of you go outside. I'm already scared of you go It turned out that due to the Earth's climate change, such giant holes in Antarctica will appear more and more often. The reason for this is that the cold waters of the ocean under the ice get mixed with the warm currents. The warm water then rises up and melts the ice with lightning speed. Put simply, a hole the size of an American state appeared in three, two, one, well, really quickly. Why does it happen so fast? The reason is That's the Mon Rai's hell, plateau bro. with a massive seamount, a real underwater Everest. This seamount is situated close to these holes, and its shape and topography enhance the flow of the warm water toward the surface. It creates Wait, not so they just got a current, but something more like a mountains, powerful bro? hose stream that washes away the cold ice. However, although glaciers stretch far beyond the Antarctic continent, we should remember that under the most part of the ice, there is land. Unlike the North Pole, the South Pole is not just a frozen ocean, but a continent under glaciers. These glaciers weigh hundreds of thousands of tons. All this mass has been pressed so there's a whole down for city millions under of this years. Spot, bro. No wonder that the lowest land point on the planet was found here. The find was made by a team of researchers directed by scientists from the University of California, Irvine. They found okay. a canyon that was particularly affected by the ice pressure. This place is located under the Denman Glacier in East Antarctica. Its depth is stunning, 
2.1 miles or 3.4 kilometers below sea level. In comparison, Hell New York, nah. which is at that point you in the Mariana Trench, bro. Hell, I am never going that deep in the water. At an altitude of 32 feet or 10 meters above sea level, Denver, which is considered to be one of the largest mountain cities in the United States, is located at an altitude of a mile or 1.6 kilometers above to? sea level. Given that the minimum thickness of the ocean crust varies between 3.1 to 4.3 miles, or 5 to 7 kilometers, we can say that the glacier has pressed the mainland into the mantle of the planet almost halfway. Can you My imagine bad, the time it takes to push a whole to valley so on. deep down? After all, Antarctica is the place where you can really learn a lot about the past of our planet. For example, everyone knows that about 65 million years ago, most dinosaurs became extinct. Thanks to that, mammals or and so birds got free think. space for themselves. A I think dinosaurs are still alive, bro. But what species lived in that period? Who took the place of the dinosaurs after their disappearance? Who became the most dangerous and cunning predator after the extinction of Tyrannosaurus? Scientists exploring Antarctica have found out. You wouldn't believe this. It turns out that for hundreds of thousands of years, the dominant predators in the southern hemisphere of the planet, the largest and most formidable carnivores, were the penguins. They were what? distant relatives of the Hell no. What? You telling me this little penguin is stronger than the elephant? You telling me this little penguin is stronger than the hippo? You telling me this little penguin is stronger than a crocodile? You know what I'm saying? You telling me this penguin is stronger than a, than a lion, bro? No, no fucking way, bro. I gotta hear why, bro. There ain't Once no way. They were faster, more aggressive, and large. This ancient penguin was the height of a human and weighed about 265 pounds or 120 kilograms. And it wasn't fat because the climate was mild, subtropical, and there was no real need to protect one. This ancient penguin was the. There was penguins this damn big, bro. The elephant and the hippo would still kill them, though, if they the same size as us. But that's a big-ass penguin. Do they have pictures? Height like, of a like human pictures? and weighed about 265 pounds or 120 kilograms. And it wasn't fat because the climate was mild, subtropical, and there was no real need to protect oneself from the cold, but muscles. Their bodies were slightly different from those of contemporary birds. They had stronger legs and body proportions resembling those of an albatross. Actually, petrels oh, and albatrosses are their closest relatives. The skeletons of these birds were found on the islands of the mainland of Antarctica. It turns out that they lived about 60 to 62 million years ago, so we can suppose that these birds lost their ability to fly and became waterfowl precisely because the dinosaurs freed a niche for them to hunt. Uh, by the way, speaking of dinosaurs, it's the remains of the ancient lizard called Lephosaurus that confirmed the theory of supercontinents that existed tens and hundreds of millions of years ago. First of all, the remains of Lephosauruses were also found on other continents besides Antarctica, while it was never able to swim. Secondly, during an archaeological expedition in Antarctica, a skeleton of a cynodont reptile was found. Similar oh, remains what? have also been found in South America and India. That's why the scientists believe that Antarctica was once connected to other parts of the world. South America, India, Africa, and Australia. And there were ancient supercontinents called Gondwana and Laurasia. In addition, the climate in Antarctica was much warmer. Densely inhabited subtropical and even tropical forests were growing there. And also, it was slightly closer to the equator in the southwest of the Pacific Ocean. Uh, so, are, so are they trying to say like back then, a long time ago, it's possible that there was like hella life on Antarctica because the climate there was a little different back then. Is that what they trying to say? I'm not saying like humans was on it, like on Antarctica, in Antarctica at the time. I'm saying that animals in, in all the animals that we have over here were like, from there or their ancestors was is that what they trying to tell us surprises us not only with discoveries of the past but also of present times for example under the ice in west antarctica geologists and scientists from nasa found a previously unknown huge underground lake it's just that instead of water it's filled with magma the thing is that on the land of marie bird there is a way how of active mini volcano wait if there's magma bro under ice, wouldn't that melt the ice? 
volcanoes. They heat this territory with about the same intensity as the Yellowstone supervolcanoes would. Remarkably, there are no breaks in the crust or any other reasons for the volcanoes to exist there. Scientists believe that the so-called plume is located there, a giant mushroom-shaped structure that arises from the magma to the surface of the planet. Plumes consist of a lightweight and hot substance. They provoke the appearance of volcanoes. Oh, uh, they're saying that's how that However, hot these lake. volcanoes are not mountain-shaped. Rather, they are simply erupting holes in the ground under the glaciers. Because of this, the ice caps of Antarctica melt three times faster over the land of Marie Bird than over any other area. However, all these discoveries and puzzles, no matter how interesting they are, usually relate to Antarctica itself, a place that seems to be a separate world to the majority of people. Now get ready for a real shock, because Antarctica has contributed to the exploration of outer space and the discovery of extraterrestrial yep, life. See, Did you think it was necessary to build spacecrafts to successfully search for aliens? Not at all. In 1984, the Allen Hills meteorite, ALH84001, was found in Antarctica, and all these decades, it's been researched. According to the very first analyses, scientists have discovered that it wasn't just a piece of rock wandering around in space that was once pulled to Earth. This meteorite is a fragment of Mars. What could happen to the red planet that made its peace travel such a long stretch? After all, the average distance between the planets is about 140 million miles, or 225 million kilometers, and can fluctuate significantly when they approach or move away from each other while rotating around the Sun. Of course, some of you may doubt that this stone is from Mars, but it's a proven fact. First of all, the composition of the soil is identical to the Martian rock samples that are available. Secondly, there are inclusions of isotopes that fully correspond to those in the atmosphere of this planet. But this is not the most important discovery. Fossil remains of ancient I'm bacteria were noise, found in the depths of the rock. Moreover, it's still unknown whether these bacteria are terrestrial or Martian. The fact that the fossil remains of bacteria in the stone are similar to microorganisms of the Earth speaks in favor of the first theory, because it means that water was necessary for their existence. The liquid that now remains on Mars is similar in composition to the antifreeze liquid. Could even a small amount of bacteria survive on it? On the other hand, how could terrestrial bacteria get in the depths of the meteorite? Microorganisms because they are dare. Very likely to be Bro. Stuck. They just asked their own question. But that's the end of that video, man. Uh, shout out to Mad Labs. I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna see if he got some more videos like this. I like this one. This shit hard. Uh, yeah, but how many of y'all think Antarctica is a place where everything started? I feel like Antarctica was a place where a lot of stuff started and where a lot of the secrets in this world is. You know what I'm saying? I'm, Cause it's a good i really feel like it's a good cover-up now that i'm thinking about it i'm just like bro if i was the president you know what i'm saying <clears throat> if i would let all y'all know about area 51 like i'll have like leaked information i'll, be, I'll let that slide because antarctica and antarctica is where all the real shit is you know what i'm saying so i ain't worried about it <laughs> you know what i'm saying like it's a good cover-up you know what i'm saying like I could, I could, I could, I could make it seem like y'all starting to know my secrets without actually giving y'all any of my secrets. You know what I'm saying? And Antarctica is a perfect place to put everything. And the fact that you could put shit underwater and it wouldn't be underwater or something. I like, bro, I'd be so confused, bro. Antarctica is a strange place, bro. It's a place full of ice. It's a place where ice doesn't melt. And it's a place where if you go under, you could possibly find, like, a spot where there's no water or something. I don't know, bro. It's so weird, bro. I, I don't know. And I, you know what I want to know? Where did the polar bears come from? You know what I'm saying? That's what I want to know. I might, I might look for a video on that, bro. Where did polar bears come from? They just spawned in Antarctica, bro. <laughs> Whatever animal is in Antarctica, if it wasn't... Uh, like delivered to Antarctica for like a science reason. Where did they come from, bro? Because as far as we know, Antarctica ain't got nothing out there but just ice and water. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that that right there is on my mind deep. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, man, my Instagram is in the description below. My little brother, Twitch uh shit is in the description below. Go follow both of those. You know what I'm saying? If you want to keep up with me, me. If God damn, if you want to keep up with me, I post uh stuff like. Well, I don't really post like that, but I usually let y'all know when the video is about to come out. And um, I interact with everybody that be 
in my comments, you know, if I know y'all, you know what I'm saying? If y'all coming from the YouTube channel, just let me know. And I, we can be cool, you know what I'm saying? We all family over here, you feel me? Y'all all a part of the Cloudy Gang. Don't forget that, you know what I'm saying? Once you're here, you can't leave, you know what I'm saying? I ain't saying I'm holding y'all hostage, but don't, don't, don't. I'm just saying once you're here, you might as well stay, bro, because we, we lit over here, you know what I'm saying? That's just... That is what it is. We 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 calm, cool, and collective over here, man. We we sit back, you know what I'm saying. Hit some, get hit. We sit back, hit some herb, you know what I'm saying. Smoke some tree. Watch videos, and laugh. You know what I'm saying. Not damn near everything. You know what I'm saying. We we chilling over here, man. And uh, I think every every video from now on, I'm like. Never mind. And if y'all want to know what I react to, I react to everything. Send me, you can send me anything as long as it's not about like, as long as it's not about the what's on the news or like, I'm cool with the news, but I don't want to react to stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? As long as not stuff on the news. Okay. What I react to, bro, is conspiracy stuff, animal stuff, discovery videos, uh, scare all scary videos. I'm talking about all scary. It, I love scary stuff. I hope y'all have a good day. You feel me? Um, I'm gonna have a good day. You know me, man. I'm gonna be chilling. And justice for Johnny Depp, bro. Cloudy signing out. It's the end of the video. See y'all in the next one.